Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at the FTP uh, service that's built into OS X Server. Now FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and FTP is basically the way in which people get uh, files up and down from a server. Uh, so basically you can upload things to a server through FTP and you can also download them. And FTP is really a technology that's been around for quite a while. And it's used in a lot of cases for web developers when they are creating websites and they upload changes and things like that. Uh, usually they use FTP to make that work. And so FTP is built into OS X Server. Now, uh, being an older technology, FTP is not uh, a secure uh, file transfer. Uh, so it's not as secure as uh, SFTP, which is basically FTP over a, an SSH uh, connection, uh, which is more, uh, is, which is encrypted. And so you just have to know that, that FTP is not uh, really the most secure service that's in OS X Server. Now, if you look at the service here, uh, we've got it right in front of us here. You can see that the service isn't on right now, and we've got this settings area here. And right here, it defaults to the website's root, and that's because that's the area where uh, OS X actually stores uh, its built-in websites. And so it defaults to that and gives us this area here where we can set up permissions for it if we want to leave the website's root as our default sh uh, share. Now, what you can do if you just click the little arrow here is you can actually choose a share that you want to use. So in our case, what I'll do is I'll, let me just choose a movies folder for just, just to put that on there. So here I've got the movies uh, folder right here. You can see now I've got um, the permissions down here. i got who the owner is, staff, all of that. I've got some that have no access. Uh, I've got read and write access. You can see right there. And so I can add other people to the permissions. I can set all of that up right in here. I can also go and edit the SharePoint if I click on this. And so if I just click that, it takes me over to file sharing right into that folder so that I can make any changes that I want to make to the share. Uh, I'm just going to leave it alone and cancel and go right back here to FTP. Uh, I can also view the files that are in here as well if I want to. If I just click on view files, it'll take me to the server and have me drill down uh, to whatever's in that folder. And you can see I just have a, a couple of things in there right now. So let's go back again. Uh, to the area here. So basically that's all there is for the configuration. Uh, not a lot uh, to do here. So I'm just going to throw the switch to turn on uh, the FTP service and you can see now it's available. The service is on and running and everything is set up and ready to go. So now that we've got it set up, what I want to do is show you a couple of ways that you can connect to uh, FTP and, uh, and see how you can make that connection happen. So let's take a look at how that works. Okay, one more thing you're going to want to do before you try to connect to your FTP service is you want to make sure that you have port 21 open on your router. Now, one of the things that, uh, that I discovered here on server is when I did open the service, it did not automatically open that port. So what you want to do is come into your router, if you've got that set up here uh, in server, just click the plus here, and then what you're going to do is come down to other, and just type in FTP right here, and then port 21, and then add that service, and then server will open the port that you need. Uh, I've already done that. Let me just cancel that right here. And so I've got that in my list there. But you're going to want to make sure you do that to make sure that the service works. Now, I've got a, a remote screen share here that I'm going to pull up. Let me just pull this up real quick. And I'm going to show you how to access FTP through terminal as well as through uh, a third-party uh, FTP client. So here we are in terminal. And so if you want to access your server uh, to be able to... Uh, get into FTP, you basically type in FTP with a space and then your server's name. Okay, so you got that right there. When you hit return, it's going to go ahead and bring it back and ask for your username, so you want to type that in. And then when you hit return, it's going to ask for your password. And you'll notice the cursor doesn't move when you do that. Okay, so now it says I'm logged in. So I'm actually connected to my FTP server. Now, to test that, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just get a file uh, that's in the folder that I set up. So I'm going to say get, and it happens to be just a picture of myself here. So uh, my name plus JPEG. And there it goes. It's gone out. It's downloaded the uh, actual file. It says the transfer is complete and everything's good. Now I can test that because I didn't specify where I wanted it. It's just going to go right away into my uh, user folder, and there it is right there. That's the file that I uploaded. That wasn't there before I just uh, grabbed it uh, from my server. 
So that's one way you can get in and do that. You can go the other way as well. Uh, if you want to put something into the server, you just use the word put uh, with the file path and name as opposed to get. And that's how you would upload those things through, uh, through terminal. So let me just pop this down here for a minute. And let me just close this terminal session here. Yes, I'm going to close it. Now, another way that you can access FTP is through a client. And so one of uh, the clients I, I like using is Forklift. And so in Forklift, you come in just to connect to the server. You make sure the protocol is FTP. And then it's very similar. You put in your server's name here and then your username and password. So let me put that information in. And then username. And then your password. And so there I am. I'm connected to the server. And I'm, I'm connected to my FTP folder, which basically has these two files in it. So I can basically do what I want with these uh, files in here now. So instead of having to use terminal uh, with commands to make things happen, I can actually drag this file wherever I want to. I can drag it into my folder structure. Uh, or if I wanted to, I could just you know grab the file itself and just drag it onto the desktop and let go. And basically there it is. It actually added that file to my desktop from my uh, Mac that I had set up. And so this makes it a, a really convenient, uh, it's a really convenient way of working with FTP. So if you, if you have a client uh, like Forklift or Transmit or something like that, uh, that really works well with FTP and it's probably the easier way to go if you don't want to have to use terminal and remember terminal commands and, and things like that. But you do have terminal available if you need it and so it does give you some flexibility. So that gives you an idea of how FTP works. Uh, like I said, there's, uh, there's not a, a ton to it. Uh, it's a pretty uh, simple service, uh, but once you get it up and running, it is a convenient way to get files uh, up and down from your server. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.